My name is Harold Hargreaves. At the age of 17 year old, in the forestry around our area, I started on the bank at, at the bottoms. That's, that was at Mitchum. My job was emptying coal and stone tubs. I had to push the tubs into the tipless. There were three of us, and we were kept busy. There was a, also a hauler driver, also a wave bridge man. Stone tubes came out of the west drift and had to be tipped over the large heap. At the age of 18 and a half, I had to go to Ashing to train for the for underground work. I was there for eight weeks, which I thought a bit a bit odd, as the course was repeated after the first three weeks and the last two weeks. When I returned to Mitchum Pit, I was put with an older man in the North Drift. We were taking supplies in. The supplies came, came in from the surface and we had to take them in to where they were needed, to the coal faces. Props and planks, steel girders. I was there for a time, then I went into the West Drift. I went to learn to drive a hauler. I found that interesting as I had to, had to be, obey the signals for, the hauling, for hauling the tubes and transferring them for haulage to the surface. After time there, I was transferred to the North Drift to train for the coal face. I was put on night shift to go with a man called Andrew Rurik, an experienced miner. We were brushing, taking back conch, taking stone down, which was, which, which we had to drill and prepare under the, uh, underneath, to fire down. It was about a driveway of nine, nine foot wide, and I think eight foot, eight foot high. The stone after being fired down had to be stowed underneath both sides of the gateway. It gave me a good train and I enjoyed working with him. After that job I worked with different men, heightening gateways and, and driveways. When the king pit was opened up again I was asked to go and work with my father. Not going down in a cage since being at Ashton, I did not know what to expect. My father and I got into the cage only to hold four men. You can imagine what I felt like. Our job was to open up the side of the shaft on each side. There were signs of previous, previous work as we found hardwood boards put in like a channel to catch water as there was a great amount coming down this return shaft. That was our job to brush take a driveway from the shaft bottom towards the second shaft for to make way for the tubes to come out of the cage on one side. We also had to brush coal and stone off the side of the shaft bottom so to make way for the tubes to, to run past the shaft bottom to go to be filled when we had that to go to be filled. When we had that prepared, driveways had to be made to organise for the coal faces to be started. After things were organized, I went with a set of men onto the coal face. Most of the time of my, my job was coal cutting. We had some, some experiences there. The electric power went off one day. By telephone, they, they told us about it. Six, six, men, six men were down and said, they said that we'd have to stay down until an emergency joint could be made where the fault was found. We had not long to wait until we were brought out. Another time was when the news was given to us that Clifford Russian had been killed at Lamley Pit. He had sat down for his bed with his workmates when a side stone came over and killed him. He was a school friend and a goalkeeper for our football team. My brother Kenneth and Derek Weir worked on the opposite ships from us. There was a few characters at the King Pit. John O'Hara worked in our said, a very good worker, but he had such an appetite, he would eat, eat, eat his, his own bait at the first go and, and, and ask if the lads had any bait left. 
And I can assure you he got well filled up. After working for a few years, the King Pit closed. And I got work at Olsen in the Anthracite Pit. I was there about six months and I got work at Lamley Pit. It was work similar to work at Mitchell with long wall faces, which, which again I did a lot of cold cutting. When Lamley Pit closed, I was transferred with all the men to Baden Mill Colliery, which I found different as it was a very wet pit. We had oil skins on all the time on the cold faces, long wall and short wall. My father and I worked together and were put on development work and I did that until the run down of the pit. My father retired from Bard Mill Colliery and only had a few years of retirement as he suffered from pneumonic causes, the dust disease. After a few years, he, di he died. When Bard Mill finished, I was offered a job at Passeloids, Plen Miller, and I started there on the Monday after leaving Baden Mill Colliery.